Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today we're coming at you with a new installment, Grant's Rants. Actually, it's not the first time I've ranted, but today we're gonna rant about safeties, particularly in the squat and in the bench press. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. You would assume that the average intelligent human being that goes to lift weights would at least attempt to make sure that they did so in a safe manner. You would especially assume this because every time we show people lifting on Twitter or Instagram, the form Nazis are always out there telling us how everything is so dangerous. With that said, the use of safeties for the squat and the bench press continues to not be done, and I don't understand why. As a matter of fact, our good buddy Mike Minigel, United States Marine Corps, just sent me a video the other day ranting over the fact that Marines in the gym don't use safeties or a 24-hour fitness, and he had some choice words, and he did not like the fact that this is still a thing. Stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. So, first thing we want to talk about is spotting the squat. I don't understand why people go to the gym they walk out their squat and then they have another human being behind them, literally like right behind them, up around them, hands up around the bosom. I mean, it's crazy what you see going down and up together. I mean, two dudes doing this, not cool guys. Not cool, but also not effective. If you're actually squatting something heavy, six, 700 pounds, what is that person gonna do standing behind you if you miss the rep? and also just kind of pointless. That is why manufacturers make things like spotter arms and safety, so that if you go down and you exert effort to come up and you don't come up, guess what happens? You go down just a little bit below parallel and the safeties or the supports take the weight. If you're going to use human beings for spotters, like you would see in a powerlifting meet or something, that's fine, but they should be on either ends of the bar. They should have eye contact with one another, and as the lifter goes down, they are ready to take the weight. They're not actually grabbing the lifter. They're grabbing the bar or the weights or the load if the lifter misses. Now, here's a misconception about spotting. A lot of people think in spotting that when you spot, you are lifting the entire weight up. If someone is squatting 800 pounds or benching 350 pounds and they have a spotter, well, if it's an intelligent lifter, they've tried this weight before, an intelligent lifter, not like this guy from Twitter last week. Come on, Cody. An intelligent lifter is taking out a load that he thinks he can probably do. And he's basing that off of previous experience and data or data, as Mark Ripito would say. Data. So if I bench 335 pounds last week and now I'm going to bench 337 and a half or 340 and my wife spots me, I hate to break it to you, Twitter, she can actually help me because I'm not going to quit. And that's the takeaway for spotting. When you are being spotted, you work the entire time. The spotters are going to watch, whether this is the squat or the bench press, the bar coming up, hopefully, hopefully it didn't die in the hole, and if the bar starts to go back down, you are not gonna quit and just drop the bar. They are just going to give the few pounds of assistance that's needed in order for you to complete the rep. So set your safeties. It's a win-win. Whether you're squatting or you're benching, set them up the moment you walk in the gym. That's a big pet peeve of mine. Don't wait until right before your heavy load or don't wait until I notice which is right before your heavy set. Now here I am right before you take out 555 and I'm saying, hey man, don't forget to set your safeties. And what do you think? Man, Grant thinks I'm gonna fail. Just make it a part of habit. You come in, you put your J hooks to the right order, you get your safeties, you put them at the right height, you put your bar up, you start warming up, whether you're benching, you're squatting and you're ready. And now you can take some risk. Once you failed at least one time, then you realize that you're not going to die if you miss a squat. I actually think it's important for most people to fail. Now, not everyone, I'm not gonna grind some 70 year old lifty bone on bone till they're on the pins, but like, I don't know, my brother this week just went to squat a weight he'd never done, 385, something like that, and he failed. First time never, but guess what? He learned one, oh, I didn't die for trying it, and two, he figured out where his limits were. So safeties, they allow you to take some risks. They allow you to train harder. Don't be the guy standing behind the other guy with the hands all over thing going down and up and doing all that weird stuff. Don't be the guy stealing everyone's rep on the bench press. Set your safeties, use a spotter if you need to. If you like this rant, if you like this video, if you wanna see more Grant's rants, comment below, like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.